Hey folks, welcome back to Mod Your Vape. Today we are going to be doing a review of a Angel Sigs product. Today we'll be reviewing the 3D Dripper by Angel Sigs. And as you can see, they have their box nice and branded with their logo. Big 3D lettering and gold foil on the front. Go ahead and open it up and show you the contents. You have the dripper. You have a little screwdriver. You get some little O-rings. Let's go ahead and remove this stuff out of the packaging. I'll go ahead and show you these O-rings. It did come with Here's the O-rings. It did come with uh, two pre-wired coils around some silica, but um, I just went ahead and threw that in my little parts box. And I went ahead and used my own coils, and I used cotton. But um, I've ran it for about, I'd say about four days through a couple, couple tanks. And uh, just to see how it, it operates. Um, but here it is. The 3D dripper. As you can see. It's a plunging style dripper. Let's see if we can get that for you. You have the Nemesis logo on the back there. This is meant to be ran in hybrid mode on a nemesis we have the serial number underneath this is the 510 connection to run it on other devices other than a nemesis that just unscrews and comes off and then you have threads that would thread down into your nemesis this would be the connection for the positive side of your battery um, I did get an email from Angel Sigs stating that their 3D dripper does not work in hybrid mode on the Nemesis. I've tried it on my Nemesis from Fast Tech. I've tried it on a couple other Nemesis, and it does not want to thread down. You'll get two threads going, and then it just stops. So I don't know if they're going to fix it or if they're going to order, you know, the, the, the updated version that would work with the Nemesis. But um, that is, to me, the only flaw with this dripper. But um, we will go ahead and jump into the teardown and build of this dripper and then show you how it drips. Let's move this camera down. Now here is the top piece to the dripper. And it does have a adjustable ring for your airflow holes. You have the option of two holes open, one hole open, or no holes open. We'll go ahead and leave the 510 base on the ohm meter as you can see it is made for a dual coil setup or you could set it up as a single we'll go ahead and tear it down for you basically this middle piece which is your two negative posts just threads up and off of the center post as you can see that is your two negative posts set that off to the side my hands are all juicy then you have the top deck which is where 
down in here you know your your coils would sit down in here and that this is the part as you can see it has that rubber o-ring on it this is the part that plunges down and this little hole right in there that little adjusting screw that's where you fill your juice and as you plunge this down juice comes up from the reservoir out of that hole and and soaks your wicks so the next piece is the spring that is inside your juice reservoir and that is what creates the plunging effect and allows the deck to be pushed back up now down in here they say it is a I want to say what 1.4 milliliters I really haven't measured I've just filled it until I've noticed it coming out of that hole and um, vaped away on it but um this is your positive post there is a little juice down in that well in there that is okay though we will go ahead and put this thing back together and get a build going on it as you can see spring deck hold the deck down from the side drop your your negative posts onto the center positive post and start spinning it and I usually spin it to where I get about two to three threads coming through the top so that it's holding everything down in place and nothing is going to be loose uh, it's hard to see that center post where the positive is I have it screwed down and you can see there's about two threads on this with this piece down in here so um, we will thread this back onto the 510 adapter and I'm gonna get to making some coils I will be using 28 gauge canthal now I'm not going to do any fancy style coils here or anything like that. I'm just going to wrap two little micro coils. I will be wrapping these around a, a 1.4 millimeter precision screwdriver. Pretty thin there. Now it is a little tricky to uh, attach these coils. Once we get to that, I'll show you. Um, this is really only my second time building coils for this thing. So there's one, two, three, four. We'll do five. Five wraps. Now I'm not going to worry about torching these and, and smushing them for the sake of the video. Bless you. One, two, three, four, five. And then compress it down. Sorry, I'm not really showing you coil building here, but that's not what this video is intended for. Leave that coil there. Get me a Phillips head screwdriver. Loosen these up. And we will go ahead and attach this first coil. Now, like I said, it is a little tricky when you build coils on this dripper just for the simple fact that the center piece likes to spin where your two negative posts are. It likes to spin because it, it does thread. So the trick is to kind of get your coils 
where you need them and hold that centered piece. Like I said, it is very, very tricky. Now what I'm doing is wrapping this around this terminal here. This makes it a little easier to tighten down these screws. Get my So now we tighten down on this first negative post. Then we take our first positive leg and just give it a nice wrap around the center. We're not going to tighten down because we have another coil that will be attached to the center. If you were setting up a single coil, you would go ahead and tighten down this middle positive post, trim your wires and be good to go. But we are going to set up a dual coil here. So again, wrap your negative. We have our negative wrapped. We'll go ahead and tighten down. And then we will wrap Positive. Let me move this terminal, this leg out of the way. And we will go ahead and wrap this other positive. Like so. Go ahead and tighten down on the middle positive connection slide your screwdriver out make sure all your excess lead is up and out of the way so that you can get down in there and trim we will cut that one Cut that one, that one, and that one. <clears throat> and we'll go in here and clean these. See if you can see that. Come on and focus. There is our two coils, five wraps apiece. I will go in here and just clean up any messes that were made to the coils. Now we can go ahead and see what ohms this coil is sitting at. Don't have no batteries for my ohm tester here, so run it on USB power. As you can see. Point four, um, and that's without having fired it and compressed them even more. We'll go ahead and remove this Nimbus from the Stingray. Juice everywhere. So you go ahead and thread down the 3D dripper with the 510 adapter on top. We'll go ahead and give it a few fires, pulse it. As you can see, glowing pretty good there. Get them nice and hot. Smush one, hold it. Nice and hot. Smush the other. Hold it. Now you want to make sure you don't fire your device at all when you're compressing them with the tweezers. You will get a short. Now slide the same screwdriver that you made your coils with through the coil. That aligns all them coils back. Straightens them back up. Give it a nice 
little pull just to tighten them back up straighten everything out do the same thing to this coil pull it just a tad straighten everything out now these coils should fire up great little coils there go ahead and lock the device back gonna test out the ohms one more time now that we applied some heat to it and wick it show you guys how to fill it and vape on it I'm always safe though we're still sitting at 0 0.4 0 0.36 all right now we got our cotton here Go ahead and now we'll get us out a few strands of cotton and we'll twist this a little bit that just makes it easier to slide through this minute hole here I am a little shaky go ahead and slide your cotton through you don't want it too tight and you don't want it too loose in there. And we'll trim off some of that excess. Go ahead and take and tuck these out of the way for now because I am going to need to get down in there to fill the little hole. Get you another piece of cotton for your other coil. Go ahead and slide that piece through. Trim off the excess. Okay, so now that we have everything pretty much assembled and we have our cotton wicks in there go ahead and move these cotton wicks out of the way just so you can see down in now right in here is the fill screw right where the screwdriver sits now you can either unscrew the fill screw remove it out and take preferably one of these drip bottles or juice bottles with a metal I guess it would be a blunt tip syringe pretty much on one of these juice bottles and you can apply it down in there and squeeze your juice down in screw the screw back in and you're good to go but since the screw has a hole in it for when you push down to reapply juice to your wicks these juice bottles the little needle fits perfectly down in that center hole so what I'm going to do is take this lid off we're gonna put some of the anti-lag by Corey Veal over at boostedejuice.com just gonna go ahead and apply some juice into the bottle makes it a little easier to get down in 3D dripper. We'll just go with that much for now for the video. Screw lid back on. Now try and show you this the best that I can. Down in there, you can see that little screw right in there. And it has a hole in it. Well, I'm going to take this juice bottle, slide it right down in that hole, and fill the reservoir up. And I'll go ahead and suck some of that excess out of there. All right, now that we have the juice, in the bottom reservoir 
I'm going to go ahead and tuck the rest of my wick down in the juice well. And you want to make sure what I've learned so far since vaping on this 3D dripper is you want to make sure that both coils, the wick, kind of feeds over close to the hole where the juice comes out. So that both of your wicks get nice and saturated each time you plunge down on the top. Now I'm going to go ahead and prime up the wick just so it doesn't take a lot of plunging to get the juice going. And I do have to say this dripper is phenomenal for dripping and driving. There is no need to panic, not feel like you're diffusing a bomb at a red light. Um, it's just, it's an awesome dripper. I haven't ran into any leaking, any problems with it. Now that we have the coils pre-saturated, I'm just going ahead and cleaning off any juice that's all over the place. We will go ahead and pop that lid back on. Now, as you can hear, I mean, that juice is coming up and saturating the crap out of the wicks there. So we will unscrew it off of the ohm reader, apply it to the stingray. Now, see, I always loosen my fire button so that I can tighten down and get a good flush sit. And we'll lock it. We have to find a drip tip. All right, and this is the drip tip that comes with the 3D dripper. Let's see if we can get it to focus. Come on. Uh, just a simple little 510. Not wide board. Or... Uh, there it is sitting on top of the Stingray clone. The 3D dripper from Angel Sigs. Running a dual coil that you've seen me build at 0 0.4, 0 0.36 ohms. Let's go ahead and remove this top and show you how it vapes and fires. And as you can see, and that puts out the vapor there. So we will go ahead and I usually set my air holes on to no all you do plunge and you can hear juice being applied let's go ahead and have a vape on it and those are just short little as you can see the vapor production is excellent go ahead and saturate that wick really good and take another vape and boy that anti-lag is good Go ahead and move this camera up and wrap this review up. So there you have it, folks. The 3D Dripper from angelsigs.com. I do recommend this dripper to anybody who wants to try something new or likes dripping and driving, dripping on the go. Just makes it a lot easier to not have to pull out a bottle Take the top off, drip, put the top on, screw your top on your bottle, put it away, and then take a vape. This is nice when you're on the go. Um, I believe it does run $13.99 or on Angel Sig's website. They had it at $18.99, but I think since 
it doesn't go into hybrid mode on the Nemesis mod that they drop the price. Uh, as always, there's free shipping from Angel Sigs. Shipping times are very fast. That's about it. The uh, 3D Dripper from AngelSigs.com. Thank you, guys.